Hello witches, welcome back to the channel once again. This is Septarios and for this video I'm going to be showing you all. I've shared a recipe for this before but this one is a little bit more uh, intended for psychic ability as well as astral projection. So this one is good to use just in your normal waking state, in your waking life as well to awaken and activate your third eye and your clairsentient and clairvoyant and things like that as well. Essentially this one is just good to use while you're awake as well as when you're sleeping. So it has a more practical use in that regard of just activating your third eye in general. So with that said, I'm just going to quickly go over the ingredients that I have here. So first of all, let's start off with what do I use as a carrier oil. I use, as always with my oils, I use um, almond oil. So there's the information where I like to get mine. It's organic. If you have some sort of an allergy to nut then I would obviously recommend not to use this oil. You should probably use like olive oil or something instead. Almonds are sacred to Goddess Hecate, so that's why I like to use it as my carrier oil for most of the oils that I make. I also like to make my oils in bottles that come with these droppers. So it's just handy and easy in that regard. So if you've ever seen me make oils before on my channel, I like to more or less fill the bottle halfway with the carrier oil to start off with simply because when I put the herbs and stuff inside I like to have them like sink down into the oil rather than putting all the herbs at the bottom and then pouring the oil on top. I feel like it mixes better when you do it like this so that's what I like to do. And I do have a little crystal grid here. I have two citrine crystals, a spirit quartz and a regular just milky quartz crystal and I have vulture claw talon that I got a long time ago that's what I have going on there so the next thing I'm going to go ahead and add first is some stones and I have these little tiny, these are actually like for beading jewelry and they're little two pieces of labradite and a little piece of turquoise. So I'm going to add those in. Both stones are really good for psychic ability, um, connecting with higher beings and dimensions and realms and also a little bit of grounding energy as well so you're protected and safe in the astral and psychic work very good stones to use for this the next thing i'm going to say is some oils yes i do add magical oils into my magical oils sometimes a little bit of road opener and four winds oil into this magical oil and i will also add in a little bit of belladonna oil and lemon essential oil But essential oils are very strong, so you want to make sure that you only put in a few drops. It smells so good though. And put some belladonna oil in. Go 
doesn't take much of that. Seal the bottle and shake it up just to get those oils nice and mixed. Isn't that gorgeous though? How they like layer all the oils. So nice and cool. So just give that a nice little shake. This will help also add a little bit of color to your oil. So it's nice and pretty. I will just show you all, all of the ingredients really quick in the in Magical Encyclopedia. We're going to add dandelion for these magical properties. Mandrake. Mandrake root, I should say. Mugwort, poppy seeds will also be added in, spearmint, here at the top of the page is spearmint's powers, healing, love, mental power, okay, star anise, willow leaves, last but not least, we will add wormwood. So that's the herbal ingredients. So this is selenite crystal that has been powdered and pulverized into a powder. Um, and we'll be adding some of that into the oil as well. So now I'm going to go ahead and put everything in. Also some willow, little willow leaves in here. Mm. 
One thing you might need when you're doing this is some sort of little tool or something that you can use to, um, if the herbs get stuck at the top of the bottle, you can just push them down in. So that's basically all the ingredients other than one thing really special that I'm going to add to this particular bottle, which is, um, here we go with this, I have a, you'll see that. So this is a dead Luna Moth. And I'm going to tear off a small, tiny little amount of the wing and put it into the oil as well. Just a little tiny bit. a magical being. And as you can see, this is pretty much filled to the top. I will add a little bit more almond oil to fill it out all the way though real quick. And then I will mix it all together or shake it I should say. So let me pop the lid on and give it a nice shake. And so there we go. This is the finished product. Gorgeous, beautiful and full of powerful energies. And a nice color too. And let me just open it now and give it a smell. Mm, it smells pretty good. So there you have it guys, that's going to be all for this video. I just wanted to come on and share this making of this nice little astral projection and third eye oil. Um, I will go ahead and enchant it further now, letting it charge in this crystal grid that I created and putting more energy into it. But that's basically all for this video. Thank you for watching. I hope that you will put this recipe to you. See the amazing magical results that you can have with this astral travel slash third eye oil. And I will be coming back with more recipes and spells. I know it's been a while since I've done any videos like this for the channel. So hopefully you enjoyed this one. And I will be making another oil. Um, a a four winds oil my own recipe and I will also be sharing a dark arts cursing oil as well so hopefully you all will look forward to those and I will see you on those videos until next time as always hell to the witches hell Hecate and blessed be